Hey, I'm in here. Today we're continuing our unboxing, unpacking of the Bloomboro Collector Boosters. So yeah, we opened up three before. Got some neat shinies. So now we're gonna open up three. I mean, there's, there's only so many packs in the Collector's Boosters, right? So yeah, we're gonna open up three packs. See what we got. And after that, we'll be basically halfway done with it. So, all right. Let's open up this first. Don't know what's in here. Oh yeah, we have to, I think we have to do the, the little thing here to open it, but oh well. It is what it is. Okay, first pack. Here we go. We got a war squeak for red. Enchant creature when it enters, target creature and opponent controls can't block this turn. Enchant creature has plus one plus one and has haste. I'll put that there. Next up, we got a nettle guard for one white. This seems actually pretty fine as a foil. So Valiant, whenever this becomes the target of a spell or ability you control for the first time each turn, it gets plus zero plus two until end of turn. One sec, destroy a target artifact or enchantment. Next up, Thought Shocker for one blue threshold, one blue. Put a plus one plus one counter on this and draw a card. Activate only if you have seven or more cards in your graveyard and only once. Okay. Next up, Head of the Homestead for three green, white, green, white. Whenever this enters, create two one, one white rabbit creature tokens. Okay. Uh, I thought I misread it for a second. Uh, heaped Harvest for two green. Uh, let's see. Whenever this enters, and when you sacrifice it, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, tap, and then shuffle. Two taps, sack, you gain three life. Next up, Uncommons, Feed the Cycle for one black. That actually looks nice and as a as a foil. As an additional cost of spell, forge or pay black. Destroy a target creature or planeswalker. We got parting guest for white white or parting gust for white white. Uh, gift to tap fish. Exile target known token creature. If the gift wasn't promise, return that creature to the battlefield under its owner's control with a plus one plus one counter on it at the beginning of the next end step. Okay. Next up is the Flame Cash Gecko for one red. Whenever this enters, if an opponent lost life this turn, add black red. And then one red. Is discard a card, draw a card. Next up is the Rock Face Village. Tap to add that. Tap to add red. Spend this man only to cast a creature spell. And then red tap. Target a lizard mouse, otter, or raccoon you control. Get plus one plus zero and gains haste on another turn. Activate only as a sorcery. Alright, we got our foil land. It is a swamp. Hard to tell it's a swamp, but it's a swamp. Okay, I wish we should actually try and center these. Right. Right. Then, next up is the rare Hired Claw for red. Whenever you attack with one or more lizards, this deals one damage to target opponent. And then one red, put a plus one plus one counter on this. Activate only if an opponent lost life this turn and only once each turn. It's so weird that a lot of these cards nowadays, because it's like, it probably so the power creep has gone so much or there's so much power creep that you they have to specify you can only do this once each turn whereas previously they had no limit so it's kind of interesting next up ooh, a mythic we got mr fox glove that's some nice art uh two green white blue lifelink whenever this attacks draw cards equal to the number of cards in defending player's hand minus the number of cards in your hand if you didn't draw cards this way you may put a creature card from your hand to the battlefield. That seems nice. That seems nice to have. I, th that artwork is really cool. Shame I didn't get the full art of it, I think. Of the, like the full art card. So we got a Fecund Green Shell for three green green reach. As long as you control ten or more lands, creatures you control get plus two plus two. Whenever this or another creature you control with toughness greater than its power enters, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put it to the battlefield tap. Otherwise, Put it into your hand. Next up is Festival of Embers for four red. Almost a four green there. Uh, during your turn, you may cast instant and sorcery spells from your graveyard by paying one life in addition to their other costs. If a card or token will be put into your graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. Okay, and then one red. Sacrifice this. And then let's see our uh, token is a bushy bodyguard. Whenever this creature enters, you may forge. If you do, put two plus one plus one counters on it. 
And then the other one is a food token. All right. And then the last card from this pack is Cruel Claws Heist for a black black gift card. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose an online card from the exile that card. If that gift was promised, you may cast that card or as long as it remains exiled or for as long as it remains exiled and mana of any type can be spent to cast it. Neat. Very neat. All right, on to pack two. Okay, let's open it up. Kind of wish I, I mentioned this before. Kind of wish it was like a like a little bit of of a plastic string, so like this doesn't happen, where you only get a, like a little bit of the corner. But that is what it is. All right, first card: a carrot cake for one white. Whenever this enters, and when you sacrifice it, you create a one-one white rabbit creature token with and scry one. And then two tap sack, you gain three life. Because it is a food. Alright, Alania's Pathmaker for a three red. Whenever this enters, exile the top card of your library until the end of next. I can't read. At the, uh, until the end of your next turn, you may play that card. Alright, Tempest Angler for one blue red, blue red. Whenever you cast an on creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on this. Okay, we got Nocturnal Hunger for a two black. Gift of food. Destroy target creature. If the gift wasn't promised, you lose two life. We got Druid of the Spade for two green. As long as you control the token, this gets plus two plus zero and has trample. Uncommon time. Hazel's Nocturne for three black. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. We got Spellgire. For two blue blue, choose one, counter target spell, or surveil two, then draw two cards. Okay. Next up is another land, the Mudflat Village. Tap that, that, tap that, black, spend this mana only to cast a creature spell. One black tap, sack, return target bat, lizard, rat, or squirrel card from your graveyard to your hand. And then we got Paw Patch Formation for one green. Choose one, destroy target creature with flying, destroy target enchantment, draw a card, create a food token. Alright, here's our land. It's a plains. Time for the rares. Uh, Manifold Mouse for one red. Offspring two. At the beginning of combat on your turn, target mouse you control gains your choice of double strike or trample until end of turn. Nice. Next up is... That is adorable. Scurry of Squirrels for two green. Uh, myriad Myriad. Don't know. I, I'm, I'm sure like the normal version will tell you what Myriad means. Whenever this deals damage, or whenever this deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Okay. Next up is an adorable manifold mouse for one red offspring two. Oh, we already got this. So yeah, this is this is so adorable compared to like the this. I mean, they're, they're both adorable, right? But in, in different ways. So yeah, I, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Next up is the Fountain Port. Uh, tap to add that. Two tap sack a token, draw a card. Three tap pay one life, create a one one blue fish creature token. Four tap create a treasure token. Okay, well, one card left, let's see the token. Uh, we got a Finch Formation. Flying whenever this creature enters, target creature you control against flying until end of turn. Very adorable. And the other side is a rabbit token, just a one one rabbit token. Okay. Final card for the penultimate pack for this video. Uh, Glarb, Calamity's Augur for black, green, blue. Okay, that's Death Touch. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may play lands and cast spells with mana value four or greater from the top of your library. And then tap the surveil two. Look at that, look at that grin. <laughs> that's cool. All right, so we have one more pack for this video. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Hopefully we end out strong, although, I mean, I personally don't know, like, the magic prices, so <laughs> we might, we, I, I might think we might end out strong, but we might not, so let's see. Last pack for the video, starting with Starlet Soothsayer for two black, flying at the beginning of your end step if you gained or lost life this turn, uh, surveil one, okay. Next up, Banishing Light for two white. Whenever this enters, exile target non permanent opponent controls until this leaves the battlefield. 
Next up, a gate assault for two red. Choose one. Deals four damage to target creature. The creature would die this turn. Exile it instead. Exile target artifact. We got a hidden grotto. Whenever, whenever this enters, surveil. One. Tap to add that. One. Tap add one mana of any color. We got the cash grab for one green. Look at that. So, is that... Yeah, th th with a nut in the mouth. Um, mail four cards. You may put a permanent card from among the cards milled this way into your hand. If you control a squirrel or return a squirrel card to your hand this way, create a food token. Our uncommons, we got Eddie Merc Crab for five blue blue. And Flash, this spell costs one less cast for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. This enters tapped if it's not your turn. And then when it enters, tap up to two target creatures. Okay. Let's see, we've got Downwind Ambusher. Now, of course, it's a skunk for a three black flash. When it enters, choose one. Target creature and opponent controls gets minus one, minus one until the end of turn. Destroy target creature and opponent controls that was dealt damage this turn. All right, we got a Burrow Guard Mentor for green white. Trample one over this, or no, this power and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control. Seems good. Seems good. We got Cor Corsication Mage for one red. Offspring two. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature deals one damage to each opponent. And the land is a mountain. Really cool. I kind of wish that the the characters themselves are more... How do I, how do I put this? Like, more non-foily? Like, I, the, the only way I can compare it to is, like, the Pokemon full art foils, where the Pokemon themselves aren't foil, so they're, the character is more pronounced on the card. So I, I kind of wish this would be the same, like, with the character. But, I mean, it, it's still pretty cool. It's still pretty cool. Time for the rare. Oh, we got a Mythic. We got Season of the Bold for three red red. Choose or choose up to five that worth of uh, modes. You may choose the same mode more than once. Then one is create a tapped treasure token. Two is exile the top two cards of your library until the end of your next turn. You may play them. And then three is until the end of your next turn. Whenever you cast a spell, this deals two damage to up to one target creature. Okay. Next up is the Moonstone Eulogist for three black black. Flying whenever a creature an opponent control dies, you create a blood token. Whenever you sacrifice an artifact, put a plus one plus one counter on this, and you get a life. Hmm. What? What? what do you, I'm sure there has a, there's a some use for a blood token, right? Because this one, the, the second part doesn't mention anything about blood tokens. So whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, you create a blood token. So I'm, yeah, there has to be another card that uses blood tokens. So next up is the Paw Patch Recruit for green. Offspring 2, Trample, whenever a creature you control becomes the target of a spell or ability and opponent controls, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control other than that creature. Next, oh, another mythic. We got Glarb again. The non... The non-foil version. <laughs> so, so you can see the you can see the grin some more. Weird that we're getting like duplicate duplicate myth yeah, duplicate mythics. <laughs> really weird. Let's see the the token. Thorn plate Inti intimidator for uh, whenever this creature enters target opponent loses three life unless they sacrifice an all impairment or discard a card. The other side is an otter with prowess. An otter is adorable. Very adorable. Last card for this pack and for the video. We got a Mockingbird for X blue. So flying, you may have this enter as a copy of any creature on the battlefield with mana value less than or equal to that amount of mana spent to cast Mockingbird. Except it's a bird in addition to its type and it has flying. Really fun card. Uh, I mean, you do have to pay the same mana price as, or the mana cost as the other creature, but which, which makes it worse than like a phantasmal image or something like that, but it doesn't have the downside of the phantasmal image where it just dies if you target it with a spell so, or or ability, I think. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Like like I said, interesting. We got we got Glarb and then we got Foil Glarb, but the same type of border. We also got the the manifold mouse 
and then the the manifold now so really interesting stuff um we got a few mythics so that's pretty cool so yeah uh, halfway done with this box hope you enjoyed it well until next time thanks for watching and have a nice day